All right, so facial bones, we're going to start with the lateral. So let me have you turn with your left side. Your other left side. There we go. You know what, let's use the right so we can see better. Yeah, I was going to say that. Okay. Yeah, it's got some sticky on it. <clears throat> all right, so face the board. Go ahead and turn your head all the way to the right. There we go. Since array for this one, guys, needs to be where? For the facial bones. At this angle. At this angle. Put your hair back. All right. So Zygoma is going to be right here. So the pictures off later this one. I know, right? <laughs> you knew you were going to be on the camera today, didn't you? But I knew it was an accident that I got to so once you get it into zygoma, go ahead and line up your CR and your IR, which is I noticed during comping, some of y'all forgot every single time. Somebody yesterday forgot it every single projection. I don't remember who that was, but one of y'all. Um, yes. Which position line do we use to make sure there's no tilt? IPO. IPO. IPO needs to be how? Perpendicular to the IR. Perpendicular to the IR. This line right there. Not that there yet? SID 40? SID should be 40, correct. Centered at the, where again? Zygoma. Do we need the mandible in this projection? Yes. yes. Do we need the mental point? Yes. Do we need the vertex of the skull? No. No, we do not. So we're going to be centered at the zygoma. As long as we get to the EAM and the mandible, use your shadows as well will help. Stick. Patient would be shielded from the waist down. There, make sure they're not rotated. All right, hold still, don't move. Take your exposure. Questions? Is there a breathing techniques for this one? Just it's best if you just tell your patient to hold their breath. Just don't breathe. Mainly so there's no movement. Anything else? No. All right, so from here. We're going to go ahead and go to Caldwell. So we're going to have you facing the board. What structures do we start with touching the board? Forehead. Nose and forehead. There we go. So go ahead and face your nose and forehead. Central ray needs to exit where? Nasion, which we're lined up good there. What's our angle? 15 caudad. 15 caudad. How do we ensure there's no rotation on this one? <clears throat> yeah, the the what? CAM. Yeah. Make sure all acoustic and EAS are equal distance from the board and the positioning line we use. Positioning line for this one? What are the guys? Come on. OML. Thank you over there in the corner. Appreciate it. <clears throat> So just because nose and forehead are touching doesn't always mean that the OML will be perpendicular. So we need to double check. Make sure we are good there. Exiting at the nasion. Half an inch on either side. We put the vertex as long as we get to the orbital roofs, we're good. With the correct marker. Y'all have been messing up with the markers a lot too. <laughs> Left marker on, 15 degrees to fat, uh, caudad. Exiting at the nasion, PA axial caldwell. Hold your breath, don't move. Take the exposure. Questions? Pretty much what we've already done. All right. What's next? Waters and modified waters. All right. So. For the water's projection, which positioning line do we use? MML, okay, which stands for what? Mental meato line. Mental line. And the CR exits where? At the Cantheon. The Cantheon, there we go. So let me go ahead and have you look up. Is your chin up? You have to snake more. So what I do is I get the MML perpendicular first. I get the acantheon right on that center spot. The nose is going to be about an inch or so away from the board. It just depends on the patient. So I know right technical camp gave a certain uh, half an inch or something it said. It just depends on the patient.
Again, make sure there's no rotation. Make sure the EAMs are equal distance. Make sure they're right down that center line. Exiting at the Acantheon. A little bit of light on the side and above as well. And there's your water's projection or your parietal acanthial. Oh, turn it on. Like, what are you pointing at? Thank you. Questions on this one? There's some breathing techniques for this one, either. For all of these, just have the patient hold their breath. Um, only so they're not moving. I mean, it doesn't, you know, we're not worried about where the air is when we're talking about chest and things like that. Mainly just so the patient is still. Yeah. All right, and from here, modified waters. Uh, on, on this waters real quick, what type of angle does the OML form with the IR? 37, 37 degrees, very good. So the next one, which positioning line do we use for the modified? <coughs> the what? LML. LML, which is what? Lips, me, and a line. So all we're gonna do is have her flex a little bit, so bring your head down slightly. Still exiting where? All we do is decrease the extension of the neck slightly. Again, make sure that it's exiting at the acantheon. Be sure that they're right in that center line. Which body plane would be parallel to the IR here? Mid-sagittal. No? Coronal. Coronal would be parallel. Which one would be perpendicular? Oh. Mid-sagittal. There we go. Um, so we're using the LML this time. There's your modified waters. Back on for those of you that are taking pictures. Questions on this one? The orbital plates are supposed to be demonstrated? The orbital the orbital floor, you'll see very well, yes. Is that all the comps? Do we have did I miss one? No. Okay, questions? Okay.